Hello, this is Ramblings of an Discipline My Podcast for Friday, January 8th, 2016. Almost screwed it up. So, yeah, I'm working from home today. Um, I have not left the house today, and it's looking very likely that I will not be leaving the house today. So, uh, cause I got the wife to, she was heading out. I got her to pick up some beer for later. So yeah, I don't have any reason to go out. That was really my only reason to go out today. I was, I was going to run out and, and grab some beer, but now I don't have to win for me. So I thought I'd talk about, um, something that one of my, uh, long time people that from the patio sphere that I that, that I follow and sometimes do a little chatting with um, is Christiana Ellis. Now I've been a fan of hers since the days of Nina Kimberly the Merciless. And if you don't know what that is and you like fantasy with a bit of humor thrown in, then, then you need to check out Nina Kimberly, the Merciless. Um, you can find all of this. I'll have the link also in the show notes, but at christianaellis.com. But she's doing something new. You know, she's done a number of things. So she's done Nina Kimberly. She's done uh, two seasons of this audio drama called Space Casey, uh, which is science fiction with a comedy bent. I mean, she's a comedy kind of gal. And I I love her humor. I I, I really get it. Um, and uh, so she started a new project with the first of the year called Phyllis Esposito, interdimensional interdimensional private eye. I don't know what interdimensional private eye would be. Interdimensional private eye. And what she's doing is she's writing a story, and every day she gives us a piece of it. Um, you know, she's not labeling chapters or whatever, and they're, they're probably not long enough for chapters, each piece. Um, they're, they're long enough, you get a little scene, but they're not, you know, not, not chapter length. And, you know, who's got, that'd be kind of tough to write chapter length every day. Yeah, that's like NaNoWriMo. Um, and she's, she's writing the story. So, you know, Phyllis Esposito, as the title tells you is an interdimensional private eye. So, so what does that mean? Well, she, you start off, she's, she's, uh, sitting in her office. She's got a fedora on. It's kind of like every gumshoe story you've ever heard, uh, as it begins. But then somebody's approaching her, her, her house and her AI, not her house, the door of her, of her uh, office there. And her AI warns her, that uh hey you've got somebody coming uh and yeah and and and, um phyllis is is fairly badly hung over as i recall um it's been a few days since i've read episode one and so bobby helps you know try to get her somewhat put together uh and bobby's ai and then this uh this potential customer comes in and it's a very, um, you know, put together posh looking elf. And uh, she's from a different dimension, what uh, is called a different slice. And uh, the woman's name is Ms. Debrelia Moonglow, which sounds very elfin, I would say, especially the Moonglow. But she and her, she and her brother, um, as it turns out, had come to this slice, this dimension, from another one, and they got separated. And so she's trying to find her brother, um, and they were given a talisman by, I think it was like a... A, a goblin or something that that they bought passage from uh, to this dimension, and they were given a a talisman that is supposed to enable them to get back. 
and uh, you know, in, in a classic Christiana Ellis moment, you know, uh, the Ms. Moonglow goes to, to hold up the 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 talisman, and it's a USB flash drive. <laughs> <laughs> and that was where she left off, I think, episode uh, or, or installment number two. Um, so I'm really enjoying it. You know, so then, then she goes to try to use it as a flash drive and, and something happens. And then she's got to deal with, OK, the why did that happen? And she finds out that um, currently she's found out that, you know, the, the, the um, flash drive isn't necessarily just what it seemed. Uh, but it's an interesting story that she's she's just kind of putting together on the fly and giving us a piece of it every day. Um, we get to see some interdimensional travel because Phil uses Phyllis uses uh, interdimensional travel to visit various people to help her in her things. Uh, she's introduced the concept that uh, certain people um, can exist in multiple slices, which makes sense if it's a slice that's kind of close to, you know, dimension kind of close to 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 the current one. I mean, the dimension she's in seems to be pretty much like ours, maybe a little bit more advanced since she's got a really, you know, happening AI, uh, but, but pretty much like ours. And then, of course, as you get further and further away, I think it's going to get different. So we're watching her go through this thing. I think today's was like number eight. So... Um, the story's really just winding up. Yes, today's was number eight. Um, the story's really winding up, and it's it's pretty interesting. So it's a quick read every day. It's not like it's you know ten thousand words you got to read every day. I don't know how many words she's doing. I if I had to guess, I'm gonna say it's no more than a thousand because they're not super long blog posts. Probably less than a thousand, I would say, um, to be able to read them. So you know if if you like a, a quick bit of um, episodic fiction that looks like it's a little bit of fantasy, a little bit of science fiction, a little bit of humor. I would recommend checking it out. And once again, that is Phyllis Esposito. I cannot talk today. Phyllis Esposito, Interdimensional Private Eye. You can find it on the blog at christianaellis.com. Like I said, I will go ahead and put that link in the show notes. But that was really all I want to talk about today. Uh, I should be back tomorrow, and I'll be talking to you then. So, be seeing you. <laughs>